remember Charlie made over that beautiful Father's Day courtyard with a little help from yours truly. Well, I'm back. And it's because I wanted to show you how I made that gorgeous little stool that tucks so neatly under that office nook. It's an easy build, and even if you're not making over a whole space, a simple seat build like the one I'm about to show you how to make is a great addition to any home. To make the stool, I'm using some 18mm marine ply, and it is great value because out of a small sheet, which is 1,200 long, 900 wide, we end up with two stools. I've had them cut to size at Bunnings, so now I'm just marking where my fixings go and I'll pre-drill the holes. Now we are ready to put this seat together. And for that, I'm going to be gluing and screwing it. And the tip here is to make sure that you pre-drill a hole, because that way will make it easier for the screw to go in, but also it's going to prevent this plywood from splitting. And now we can see the shape of our stool, and it's looking nice and cute. But the thing is, we want to strengthen it up, because you can see, if you sit on that, it's got the chance of collapsing. For that, we're just using this little brace. Now, you could set it up down the bottom, but you're going to see it. So the trick is to put it up the top, and it's hidden away. And we're ready for a coat of exterior black paint. The best thing about this one is it's self-priming, so there's no need for an undercoat. Now we're ready to clad this box or seat. And for that, I'm using this beautiful hardwood decking and it's black butt. Now, I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit pricey. So if it's out of your budget, you can use any external timber. Next, I just need to cut it to size. little tip, because I need these all to be the same size, once I've cut the first one, I'll use it as the template to mark the others. So I'll just sit it on top and scroll my line. Now I'm going to give these boards a quick sand just to get rid of any burrs and these pencil marks, and it's ready for a clear coat. Before I put these boards on our seat, I'm just going over them with an ultra clear. The good thing about doing it before you put them on is you can seal them all the way around. That way, you'll know it will last outside. Our board's dry, we're now ready to attach them to the seat. The main thing to remember here is that you use the right size screws. That way, it doesn't come through. So I've got some 30 mil screws, and they'll work perfectly. I'm also going to create a shadow line, so I'm just using my spacer to make sure that's flush with the top before I fix it off. And to finish it off, I've just added some rubber feet at the bottom. And you know what? This really is the easiest seat you could make. It looked fantastic in Charlie's courtyard, but would be perfect for any entertaining area. I love it so much, I think I'm going to have to make some more.